Welcome back to the comments section. I'm Brett Cooper. So there is a lot going on with the Cyrus family right now. I don't know if you guys have been following it. Like Tish and Billy Ray are not together anymore. They split up. And then at Tish's wedding, not all the kids showed up. And so people are saying that she's been slighted by two of her children because they're siding with Billy Ray. It's a whole ordeal. Billy is now with the woman that's like Miley Cyrus's age and they're releasing music together. And then Miley Cyrus is releasing her new song and doing all the self-reflection. But in the middle of all of it, one of the siblings is also making some news. I had never heard of this Cyrus brother before. I knew that she had siblings, but other than Noah Cyrus, I had no idea who they were. But suddenly, he has gone viral on social media and he's popping up in the news for spitting some surprisingly based facts. His name is Trace Cyrus, and he is angering people right and left and now being deemed toxic and problematic. So let's get into it. Before we do though, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to this channel if you have not already, and ring that notification bell so that you never miss a comment section or off the clock episode. So if you do not know who Trace Cyrus is, this is him. I've never seen more tattoos on a person in my entire life. Again, I had no idea who he was until last week, but this is him. He's known as Miley Cyrus's brother and Billy Ray's son, but he is also a musician in his own right. He was the lead guitarist in the band Metro Station, which had a few hits back in 2007, I think. And since then, he's been laying pretty low. He has not been making music and he looks like he spent all of his time getting tattoos because there are so many of them that I feel like getting all of those was probably a full-time job. All of this hubbub about him started last week when he randomly, out of the blue, posted a paragraph on his Instagram stories about OnlyFans models. Here's a page six headline about it. Miley Cyrus's brother Trace goes on bizarre rant, shaming women with OnlyFans accounts. Now, you all know how I feel about OnlyFans. Disgusting. So obviously, I was intrigued. I had to read this story. Here is the post. He said, there's so many girls that do OnlyFans that have lost their chance of ever settling down with a good guy with morals. They will try and call those men insecure for having standards. They get a lot of attention from guys on OnlyFans, so they think that they have options. But any guy who is so desperate to see sexual content that they are willing to pay for it is a desperate loser. A lot of successful guys will sleep with those girls, but they don't want to wife them. I see a lot of these girls speaking out on this now, saying that they can't get a serious relationship. It's because men see the value in those girls strictly for sex. They don't look at those women and equate their value as a future wife, mother, or loyal partner. I know some amazing girls that do OnlyFans. I just think this independent mindset of not needing a man is extremely toxic and leads to a very lonely future. I hope more girls continue to speak up about this so other girls know the risk of getting into it. Having a good man and a family will bring you more happiness in old age than OnlyFans ever could. Like that, I, no problem with that. What's up? Like he hit every single nail on the head. He hit every single point succinctly and with kindness. He talked about OnlyFans. He talked about, you know, the future relationships. Like this was not some angry, bitter or spiteful post. Like he genuinely seems concerned but people did not take it well, of course. Like one person said, I don't know that anyone asked Crispy Eminem what he thought. Somebody else said, bro looking like this and talking about losing morals, LMAO. To his credit though, and I'm not sure if this is totally true or not, I was on his Instagram and his Twitter yesterday as I was putting together this episode, and he has been saying that he regrets getting all of his tattoos and he's been asking people for recommendations to get them like removed, like, you know, for laser treatment. And then he posted that he's starting that next week. Now, I genuinely can't tell if he is being serious here or if that would even be possible because of how many tattoos he has, I feel like that would take years to get them all gone. And I cannot imagine the pain he would have to go through. Like that would seriously be rough, like rough greens. <laughs> Now, there is very little that I love more than my dogs. I mean, who would not do anything for their pets? Now, I want Rocky and Tater to be as healthy as possible, and that is why I love being partnered with Rough Greens. Naturopathic Dr. Dennis Black, the founder of Rough Greens, is focused on improving the health of every dog in America. And we all know that traditional kibble, normal dog food is dead food, and it does not give your dog the nutrition that they need every single day, which is why you should get Rough Greens to boost your dog's food back to life. Rough Greens is a supplement that contains all the necessary vitamins, minerals, probiotics, omega oils, digestive enzymes, and antioxidants that your dog needs. You don't have to go out and buy some new fancy raw dog food subscription because those are expensive and in this economy it might not be in the budget but you can just get rough greens and sprinkle it on your dog's food every single day and you will be leagues ahead from where you were. Dog owners everywhere like me are raving about rough greens because it supports healthy joints, improves bad breath, boosts energy levels, and so much more. I particularly have noticed my dog's coats have looked so much better since using rough greens. They're doodle so that's super important but their hair is shiny, curly, and beautiful. Now the team at Rough Greens is so confident that their products will improve your dog's 
Health that they are offering my viewers a free Jumpstart trial bag so that your dog can try it too. That free Jumpstart trial bag can be at your door in just a few business days. If you want to check them out, go to freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. Again, that's freeroughgreens.com slash Brett or call 877-66-MY-DOG. You should absolutely do this because it is free. It is a pain-free way to test it out and see if your dogs like it. Pain-free unlike what Trey Cyrus is going to have to do. But then in another post, he even said that he stopped visiting his ailing grandmother because he was so ashamed of how he looked with all of his tattoos and that because of that, he barely spent any time with her before she died and that that is still haunting him and that he regrets that. So obviously he's carrying pretty significant weight about these tattoos and how he looks. And again, this is the first time that I've ever heard of this man, but based on the dive that I did about him on his social media, he recently got sober. He lost like 50 pounds and he's been posting his workout journey. He's trying to get his life together. He's facing some harsh realities, it seems, and is confronting a lot of that. At least that's what he's posting on his Instagram story. And all of that is something to admire. I don't really care what you look like. I don't care if you have 500 tattoos, even though I probably will make a joke about it. If you're getting your life together and you're cleaning up your act, that is something that we can all applaud. Somebody else said, um, so what's his excuse for being unmarried? It's an excellent point. <laughs> But he's been in many long-term relationships, most notably with Brenda Song from Disney Channel. But I can't figure out if he is with anybody now. Again, it seems like he's working on himself. Maybe he's trying to fix that. I think he went through a breakup like a year ago and it was a pretty long-term serious relationship. So I don't think that he's hooking up with a bunch of people. Like he definitely seems like a relationship guy because it's like long-term relationships that he's, at least <laughs> from what I've seen on the gossip sites. Somebody else said he may be right. He is. He really is. Somebody else said his mama didn't do OnlyFans and still had babies out of wedlock, was married and got cheated on, divorced and remarried. I promise you, it doesn't matter how men view you. Trash men will always be trash. Live your lives. And while yes, that is true because there will always be bad people. There will always be people who, you know, act immorally. There will be men who act immorally. It is not just about how men treat you and perceive you. It is about how you view yourself and your self-worth. Like live your life as you want. Yes, it's a free country. Do whatever you want. But don't get angry down the road when you realize that you sacrificed your self-respect and your reputation. And I feel like that's what he's trying to warn girls about. And in my opinion, that is more important than how a man views you. Because we have to live with our choices and ourselves forever. Now, even though people spent days tearing into him, he did not roll over, which obviously I admire. And a couple of days later, he tweeted this and said, I stand on everything I said. I will never read another response to anything I post on here. Apparently he's not in the comment section. Most of you have made it clear that you're not intelligent enough to make a rebuttal to my statement without verbal abuse and name calling. An emotional response to my very logical statement. And it was a very logical statement. Statement. It did not seem angry at all. He was simply reporting on what he had observed. And again, it genuinely seemed kind. He then posted, when disagreeing with somebody, you lose the argument when you resort to verbal abuse name calling. I love calm debates with people on a sensitive topic. It is important to hear other perspectives. I'm far too logical to have conversations with people who want to resort to an emotional response. Those are incredible responses. That's fantastic. Like that is the best thing he could have said. And we could leave it all there because that is a perfect mic drop, but he was not finished. No, he wanted to post something else yesterday, just a week after the OnlyFans rant. He launched into yet another. Here's another page six headline about it. Miley Cyrus's brother, Trace. At this point, we should just drop the Miley Cyrus because I think everybody knows who he is now after the OnlyFans rant. So just Trace Cyrus rants that no woman is better off without him. Claims exes had to settle for less. Really keeping things interesting for us. This was the post. And I was concerned about this because I wanted to do this episode saying that I really agreed with him about OnlyFans. I was like, oh God, what did he say? Oh no, is he a crazy person? But he said, I genuinely feel bad <laughs> for any girl I've been with that has to live with the regret of losing me. There's girls I've dated, even over a decade ago, still trying to get another chance with me. Some of them are in new relationships and have had to settle for what I know they find less desirable, but they've settled for what they can get. There are beautiful women everywhere, but there actually aren't many good, attractive, hardworking men with high values and morals. Ladies, if you find one of these men, do all you can to hold on to him. Do not allow petty emotions and irrational decisions to cause you to lose a man that truly loves you. Any man who thinks highly of himself and knows his value will have no problem walking away from a relationship if he is not being treated with the love and respect that he knows he deserves. No girl that lost me has had their life improved by me no longer being a part of it. Yeah, uh, well, I'm just not sure about that right now. That was probably not the best way to word this. And obviously people were going to take those tidbits and you know turn that into a headline. And obviously it came off as egotistical to a lot of people. But again, he's not wrong at all. Like this should be a wake up call for both men and women. Like women, be careful of losing a good thing and treating a man poorly, but also men, you should not be scared to walk away. Girls talk a big game of like dumping guys and not caring and, you know, playing with men like puppets. You can walk away. 
You do not deserve that. You do not have to be in those relationships. I promise you there are other women out there. You deserve more. There is no reason to stay with somebody who is not treating you well or is not interested in or on the same page about building a life with you. That should not be a controversial statement whatsoever. Again, Trey Cyrus is spitting facts. Now, of course, he got angry comments and DMs, and in response, he made another post, and he said that he was aware that his words wouldn't be interpreted because people do not take the time to fully comprehend what he is saying. Quote, I know my intentions are pure and are only meant to spread knowledge and positivity. If you don't see truth in somebody's opinion, then you shouldn't be offended by it. This man obviously does not give a crap, and I wildly respect it. And to be honest, based on his family and the way that his sisters have acted in the past, he is not somebody that I would expect to be dropping common sense takes like this. But honestly, I don't know what I would expect because I didn't know who he was before last week. So I guess I should not judge a book by its family or by its very angsty tattooed cover. Thank you for watching the comment section. If you want to see more videos just like this, make sure to subscribe to this channel, turn on your notifications, like this video. And of course, if you want even more content, you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter at I'm Brett Cooper. See you next time.